challenging you. Hello, hello, this is Mr. Chabry. What's this? A team of Ubers? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Well, maybe we can still pull a victory. A lot of these... Let's see, I don't have an ice type. So I gotta watch out for Zygarde. But I think... Zack Attacker could do some work for us if it set up that Trick Room. Because a lot of my opponent's Pokemon are pretty fast. Yeah. I'm going to lead Lando. Uh, Lando is a really nice pivot. Um, they can actually do a lot of work for us. It really can. Hmm. Alright, let's see here. What are you leading with? Well, oh, Tapu Coco. Listen, I would be sort of nervous about this thing back in the day when HP Ice was a thing. It's not a thing anymore. You can't touch Lando. You really can't touch Lando anymore. Alright. Oh, the Earthquake would be nice. Let's make sure no flying types. Nope. Uh, we're going to throw an Earthquake. Throw an Earthquake. Ooh, we're faster. Okay, so I'm actually surprised. Tapu Koko is a very fast Pokemon, and the fact that Lander's just outsped. This must this must be a weird Tapu Koko set, and this makes me feel better. Makes me feel better. Go ahead and send out your next Uber. Yeah. Zygarde. Okay. Well, and the funny thing about Zygarde is it's a very bulky Pokemon. And I am nervous about it. I've got Dazzling Gleam that could do work. Um, we'll throw the Poudon out and maybe try to Whirlwind. Try to keep momentum going, I guess. Um, I need to keep Lando pretty healthy because it is a pretty important Pokemon in this. If I can get rid of Zygarde or chip it down to Earthquake range... Core Enforcer. Well, this is a complete Zygarde, obviously. Obviously, it's the 100% Zygarde. It just hasn't transformed yet. Let's, let's go ahead and throw rocks up, right? Well, let me see. What would rocks help out with? Quite a few things, actually. Especially, especially the Blasophalon. Um... That thing does not want to switch in on rocks, so we're going to go ahead and set up rocks. Um, then we're going to Whirlwind. We're going to Whirlwind this Zygarde out. So it's not doing nothing to me. Look at this. Look how little this does. You should be disappointed in yourself, Zygarde. <clears throat> you should be disappointed. If this person actually... Knew how to use a Zygarde. They probably would have, like, Coil on it. Coil is the most common thing I see on Zygards. But, obviously, Coil's not going to matter. Because I'm going to just... <whistles> blow this thing away, you know? Alright, listen, Hippowdon. Just <whistles> a gust of wind right at this thing. Just blow this thing away. Whoop! There it goes. Let's see what comes in. Something good? Ooh, Nihiligo. Okay. Nihiligo. Um, do we have anything to worry about this thing? Because we resist both of, both of its stabs. I'm going to slack off here. Um, get all this nap time. Listen, Hippowdon, you just had a Thanksgiving dinner. You're going to go ahead. Oh, it, take, it has grass knot. Okay, that might actually do a lot. That might, yeah, that's going to take us out. But listen, Hippowdon has done its job. It's set up rocks. It's 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 what are you boosting? Speed. Oh no. Well We'll have Copperaja come out. We've got the assault vest that's gonna help us take a hit. Uh, we can just hit EQ, get rid of this thing. Because I don't want this thing setting up on me. 
throw out an EQ on it. Don't want it setting up that speed stat on me. Yeah. Alright, now Hilligo goes away. And out comes Machamps.com. Okay, so this person got this from a Wonder Trade. Obviously, you don't know what I'm going for. Yeah. I will take that Blast of Phalon. I feel like my opponent might DC. Are you going to DC, buddy? I don't have the Sandstorm on my side anymore. Frown. I think it'd be pretty worthwhile just clicking play rough. You've got Lands Wrath. What else have we seen? Core Enforcer. We're going to take one. You'll probably take one. Okay. Oh, here we go! It's happening! <clears throat> okay, okay. It is. Time to face down the big Zygarde. Do we have anything to s throw out there? Lands right. So you don't have Thousand Arrows, which is actually good for me. That's actually good for me because I can just switch out into my flying type since you're relying on Lands Wrath. And Lands Wrath won't touch me. I was nervous about going into this thing because, you know, Thousand Arrows, that thing, that's a scary thing to see. But you don't have that. I'll just U turn. I'll just U turn out. Different chip. Chip, 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 chip. Chip, chip, damage. Okay. Bring out something that... Let's stack attacker. Stack attacker? Okay, we're gonna go to stack attacker. You know, play, play it a little switcheroo -y. We're gonna see a core enforcer, I think so. Yeah, and then we just go back into Lando because he's going to go Land's Wrath next. And that, and that tickled stack attack. A stack attack is like, did you try to attack or are you trying to tickle me? Alright, so of course we're not staying in on Land's Wrath. It's going to demolish us. But we are going into Lando here on the Land's Wrath. And then I think an EQ should be able to take this thing out. I think if we clicked Earthquake, we'll take out Zygarde and we'll be locked into a pretty nice move uh, considering, considering the remaining... Make up of my opponent's team. Oh, you've got Dig! What? Why do you put Dig? What is this game? Alright. Alright, I've got two turns to Earthquake. So if this doesn't kill, the next one will. Thank you. I think it does get a, a damage boost if the opponent's underground, right? Necrozma. Okay, so Earthquake is super effective, but this thing does have Prism Armor. And Prism Armor will dampen the Earthquake. But I still think it's going to be worth it. Yeah. Oh, it was way worth it. It was way worth it. You see that? That was a lot of damage right there. Yeah. Alright, let's see what we got coming out. Nah, he'll go. We already know that we could take this thing. Meteor Beam. Unless you have that one item, that's not going to matter. The Power Herb. You don't have a power herb. 
So it don't matter that you clicked Meteor Beam. Don't matter. We'll take take that Nahila go. Alright. Hello, hello. Um And this is my opponent's last Pokemon. We're gonna see a Dynamax, guys. I'm calling it right now. We're gonna see a Dynamax. And then this thing's going to get one shot with an Earthquake. That's going to be how the battle ends. It's going to be how the battle ends. I'm calling it right now. We're going to see a Dynamax, and then it gets one shot. So this thing does not... I really don't think it takes an Earthquake. I mean, of course it can't take one before Dynamax. I don't really think it takes one after. Really don't. Go ahead, Dynamax, buddy. It'll make you feel better. Or it might make you feel worse knowing that. Okay, you're gonna. You're faster. Okay. Okay. Of course, this is a fast Pokemon. I don't know why I was surprised. All right, then we EQ and take out this thing, and that is the game. I don't know if this thing is still Uber. Might not still be Uber. But I do know that Zygarde was Uber, and also uh, the Necrozma is Uber. But anyway, if you like this, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you in the next Pokemon video.